Why don't we stand? Let's just invite the presence of the Lord. Amen. Trust you've had a good day. Oh, yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. God's made our heart fertile for tonight for him to just, amen, drop the seed in the right place at the right time. Amen. amen. The right seed for his glory. Amen. Right. Amen. Hadn't Brother Man and Man Clan been doing a good job ministering yes, around amen. here, I'll tell you. We appreciate them. Amen. All right. Amen. If you've got a need tonight, why don't we let it not be known by the raising our hands. Amen. We ask you to pray that Jen, our daughter-in-law, she's due to have a baby just any day, any moment. And the baby's not just breached, but it's something weird sideways and, and uh, in, a, in a bad way. And they're looking at if God don't really intervene, it's going to be a C-section. And uh, just pray for her. Pray for Sister Smith and just everyone, those that are not here, those that are here. We all need God's touch. Ross, our, my brother-in-law, he is uh, in a hospital with COVID-19, and there's a couple others. Uh, brother Deal is, has got uh, the same scenario, and then uh, we just need to pray for the whole church family situation for God to work it all out. Amen. Amen. Other needs? Raise your hand. Amen. God knows. Amen. Pray for Brother uh, Alvin. He's got a particular need. Needs God to give him guidance and direction. Amen. And the Lord knows there's unspoken requests and other needs. Let's pray. Father, we love you tonight. We just thank you and praise you, Lord, for all Father, you've done you're and you're doing. Person, and you're what you're going to do, Lord, you're faithful. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you'll undergird us tonight, God, and let us draw nearer to you. It's our desire tonight. God, Lord, for your will to be done and accomplished. Oh, we don't know how to go out or come in. God, we need you. We need you, Holy One. Touch us. Touch those that were here last night, God. Lord, need in the Word. Need to be here tonight.
page 248.
faithful in doing your part, and God will, will make up the difference and pick up the slack. Amen. He's a faithful, Amen. wonderful God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another night of life and coming together. I want to call and lift up the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Lord, we ask that you give our hearts to us, that you give us a presence in our hearts, Lord. We give them a cheerful heart tonight, we're giving them to the kingdom of God. We pray, Father, in Jesus' Christ. Amen. Amen.
problem. God's got a plan. A plan. Amen. Right, yeah. Man, God bless you. These folks are sure a blessing to our home. Yes, amen. And I tell you what, they cripple that bus if they can get away with it. They keep them hanging around a little while longer. But we love them and want God to use them tonight like he always does. Amen. Oh, Jesus, wonderful. Good to see the house of God tonight. Yeah. I know he's still on the throne. He's got a plan. He's got a plan. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate it. Just had a good time in the house of the Lord yesterday. Just uh, uh, we sing a little song. Said, all day long, I've been with Jesus. All day long, my heart has sung his praise. That was yesterday. It's in the presence of the Lord. Appreciate God coming by and helping us. Glad you're here tonight. I know God's come by and do work in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. 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 So let's just let the Lord have his way. Get wired up here. Amen. Praise the Lord tonight, church. I love that old crowd family song they sang so wonderfully tonight. You'll make a way. You know, you just, right. Sometimes you face things and uh, you come up against things in life, and it's just good to know that he's going to make a way. No matter what it looks like, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how dark the clouds are above you, he's going to make a way. And man, you can just put your hope and your trust in him. I'm thankful for that tonight. Praise the Lord. Mr. Rhodes says, living in joy. I'm thankful no matter what, if you know the king, you can have joy. You know this world can be uh, frightened and worried and scared all around you, but I'm thankful that you can rest in him and you can have the true joy, the joy and speak one full glory, the Bible yes, says. Man. Praise the Lord. <laughs>
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
be glad in it. We yes, will be glad. The word of the Lord declares. Psalm 32 11, be glad in the Lord. The Bible said in Psalm 16 and 11, in his presence is fullness of joy. And at his, pleasure, at his right hand, there are pleasures evermore. Can I tell you today, we need to serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. There's a joy in serving God. Everybody just smile at me, all right? So there's a joy in yes, serving God. Smile on the camera there. All right, here we go. Amen. Uh, there's a joy. I said there's joy in walking with Jesus. Serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. We sing that song, I got a joy that the world didn't give, and the world can't take it away. I got a joy that the world didn't give, and the world can't take it away. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to redo that just a little bit. I got a joy that the world didn't give and COVID can't take it away. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. I got a joy that the world didn't give and a pandemic can't take it away. Yeah. Uh, serve the Lord with that. Not, not that we're just happy on things or happy on this or happy on that, but we're serving the Lord with uh, gladness. I got to get on with this. Uh, but how do you understand that we need to serve the Lord with gladness, but we are living in a, in a a mad, sad, grumpy world. Yeah. A mad, sad, grumpy, hate-filled world. Yeah. I mean, it just, you know, how dare you drive like that? Yeah, I mean, they, the people just, they just, they just bad. And they just grumpy. Right. Yeah. They just waiting for a reason to explode. That's just the world we live in. They're mad, sad, grumpy, hateful. You know the sad deal is that everybody's smiling. It's kind of ebbed over into the church. Look out. Yeah. yeah, glory. Yeah, everybody's fine. I don't think you're guilty. Praise God. <laughs> but it kind of ebbed over into the church. And, uh, and I know I've been in that church. Uh, I think they're kind of mad, sad, grumpy, and hateful. But anyway, I'm just looking down hey, here. Uh, but, but you know, to serve the Lord with gladness, the Bible said. Serve the Lord with gladness. The problem is, today there's a lot of folks in the church that thought that meant serve the Lord with sadness. Yeah. Shout man, you go. Yeah, we get to you a bit. Serve the Lord with sadness. You know, you sitting there, folks. Oh, I'm glad I'm a Christian. I'm glad to be saved. Oh. Come on, man. We ain't going. Yeah. Then we get into the amen on that one. Hallelujah. There's no joy. They're just going through the motions. Yeah, I mean, that's they're, right. Uh, they, they, you know, like, oh, I have to go to church. Oh. And then right. we wonder why folks don't want to come to our church. Yeah. Yeah, when you can buy them. Oh, you're coming here with me. Oh, oh listen. It's not serve the Lord with sadness. Yes. It's serve the Lord with gladness. Right. Right. There's a lot of folks serve the Lord with sadness. You know what? They're sad that they can't sin. Well, I can't do that, and I can't do this, and I can't go here, and I can't go there. I can't live holy. And, uh, yeah, come on now. How do you know? <laughs> Holy is not about I can't, I can't, I can't. It's about right. praise God. I can't live free from sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't have to give it good any longer. Hallelujah. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. That's God right. Sadness. Oh, you know, we used to have, years ago, we used to have testimony service. And done away with that lot of churches. And I'll tell you why they've done away with it. They got into too many testimony services. Folks stand up and for 45 minutes they tell what a dirty, rotten scoundrel they were in the world, almost looking back on it with glee. Yeah. And drool dripping down their cheek like they wish they were right back there in the midst of all that wicked sin that they used to do. Yeah. Oh, and I used to, I, oh, but God save me. And they sit down. Yeah. Woo, glory. Yeah, come on now. Uh, yeah. Serving the Lord with sadness. Right. And you know, the Bible said, serve the Lord with gladness. I'm glad, glad God saved me. Yeah. I'm glad He's set me free. I'm glad those things anymore. I'm glad I don't have to do those things anymore. I'm glad I'm not bound by them anymore. Serve the Lord with gladness. Oh, Serve right. the Lord with gladness. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. This world sees enough grumpy, enough hate, enough backbiting, enough uh, uh, a spite, enough of all of that. It needs some joy. Yes. I said it needs some joy. And you and I got the Christ. We got the reason for joy. Serve right. the Lord with gladness. Not sadness. Then there's others. They think that the, the word meant serve the Lord with madness. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. You ever seen it? They're mad yeah. at everything. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Those folks are mad at everything but the devil. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. How they mad? I, mean, I don't know. Listen, I, I preached at that church. They, 
pastor, I'll do it. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Because if I don't do it, the pastor's going to go and wonder where I was. He's going to do it. I really don't want to come to revival. If I don't, he's going to call and ask where I was. I guess he better just go. I don't want to. You shout now, you go. Yeah. They serve the Lord with madness, huh? Yeah. They mad about everything. That's right. They mad because the music's too loud. They mad because the music's too quiet. They mad because it's too hot. They mad because it's too cold. They mad because the carpet's green. They mad because the carpet's blue. Well, yeah, shout now. Right. Uh, they serve the Lord with madness. Uh, and as soon as they get happy about one thing, they'll get mad about something else. Right. You understand? That's they the serve the Lord. Word. They're mad about everything. Yeah. They serve the Lord with madness. Yeah. You know, they, some of these folks, they kind of remind me of that little boy. His mama said, son, stand up. He said, I don't want to stand up. Mama said, stand up. He said, I don't want to stand up. You don't believe in whipping your kids? Close your ears. <laughs> Board of Education was applied to a seat of learning for a higher state of knowledge. She said, stand up. He stood up. He said, mama, I'm standing up on the outside, but I'm sitting down on the inside. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. Come on now. Go ahead and laugh. I'm standing on the outside, but I'm sitting on the inside. You know, there's a lot of folks that come to church. They're standing on the outside, but they're sitting on the inside. That's they're right. serving the Lord with madness. They really don't want to just go ahead and get on in and serve God. They serve Him with madness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Be yes, glad in the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, ice cream's a happy thing, and serving Jesus is a happier thing. Glory to God. Serve the Lord with gladness. Listen, when you leave out of the house of God and you walk out the church doors, this world ought to drive by and look like, you know what, they just had some good taste in ice cream. Huh? Yes. I mean, they ought not to see you walking out of this place like you just come from a funeral. No, we're serving a living God. That's it's not right. serving sadness or madness. It's serving the Lord with gladness. Yes, that's right. I'm going to serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. Amen. I'm almost done with the introduction that we're going to preach. Amen. <laughs> Something is served the Lord with sadness. Something is served the Lord with madness. Others think it served the Lord with badness. Mm. Uh -huh. They're just, they're just not good Christians. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on now. They're just bad Christians. Yeah. They're just not good at serving God. They're bad praisers. They're bad givers. They're bad prayers. They're bad limbers. They're just, they're just bad Christians. Come on, brother. I didn't say serve the Lord with badness. I said serve with gladness. Uh, some folks got the idea, well, church don't really matter. Just whatever, whatever. Everything's kind of haphazard. Ha, 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 you know, half hard. You know, whatever. And uh, what happened to serve the Lord with excellency? Yeah, what happened with right. giving him our best? Yeah. What happened with giving him a number one? Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember when I, I wasn't saved, but I knew that when I went to church, there were certain ways I was supposed to go looking. Huh? Yeah, come on now, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, nowadays they're in style, but I didn't go with the holy jeans on them days, you know, and, and my all tore up. No, 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 I mean, you know, you're going to look nice, you're going to church, and, and, and an exterior, it was taught, you need to serve him with, with, with let's, don't be, let's don't be bad about this, let's be good about this, and we were, we were in Christians. Uh, but anyway, and when I got saved, then I really said, you know what, I'm going to serve the Lord with gladness. I want to serve him with gladness. Yes. I don't want to serve him whole or half-heartedly. I don't want to serve him just haphazardly. I want to serve him with gladness. Yes, Some folks right. just serve him badly. Yeah. Uh, they serve him haphazardly. I thought about uh, a new family, and and uh, and this was the testimony. He was raised in a, in a Pentecostal church. But and his mom, and he told me later, his mom and dad, they were them tongue talkers. You know, they're Pentecostal folks. He said, but you know what? He said they live like the devil. He said, oh, when I got up, I went my own way. I said, I don't want none of that. He ended up getting married. And then him and his wife, they weren't living for God. And they finally realized they need to get back into church. And, and uh, his wife said, we need to get to church. And he said, I'll go to church. And he said, I'll go anywhere. He said, but I won't go to that Pentecostal church. And, oh, why? Because his mom and dad were bad livers. I said, they served God with badness. There was such a bad testimony at home. Oh, yeah. Then come on now. Yeah. I'll let it go. I'm telling you, you need to serve the Lord with gladness. Right. I said, you need to serve the Lord with with gladness. Yes, I mean, so that your kids want what you got. I said, your kids ought to want what you have. Yes, your grandkids right. ought to want what you have. I, you're serving the Lord yes. with gladness. Yes, 
serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Not with sadness, not with madness, not with badness, but serve the Lord with gladness. Gladness. The Bible said that gladness being taken away from the sons of men, that was a curse when there wasn't any gladness, Joel tells us. The Bible said that joy is withered away from the sons of men. It's a bad day when there's no gladness. And you know what? It's a real bad day when there's no gladness in the church. And what we faced recently, and everything that's come against the church, I know we go through struggles, and I know we have hard times. I'm telling you, in the midst of it all, you and I need to serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. I need to serve the Lord with you say, the preacher, you don't understand. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Serve him with gladness anyhow. Yeah. Serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Serve the Lord with gladness. I see Paul and Silas. They've been uh, preaching the gospel. Things were going good until they got in prison for preaching the gospel. Now they're in the dungeon. They've been beat. They weren't very happy. Didn't feel very good. But they got to singing the songs of Zion. Got to serve the Lord with gladness anyhow. Hallelujah. Revival broke out. I'm telling you, if you and I can keep our joy, I said, if you and I can keep our joy in the midst of this, we can be a light in a darkened world that's in dire need of some joy in their life. Right. Hallelujah. 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 I, I, we were, we were, uh, we were in a certain state. I don't remember where. I guess we're in California. Anyway, and all this was going on, and they finally opened up Bass Pro Shop. Woo! Sorry, I got excited. Uh, and uh, and so um, we went to Bass Pro Shop, and you know, and now that's always a. I mean, that, that to me, that's you know, pizza, ice cream, Bass Pro. They're you know, they're pretty close right there together, especially when you can get pizza and ice cream and Bass Pro. But anyway, you know, so uh, and it's kind of a happy place. Well, I walk in, and that day I noticed everybody else was kind of somber. Probably everything going on there kind of somber. Not me, man. Me and my family, we're happy. Ooh, we're having a time. We're, man, we're, oh man. We're, we're just, I, just being what we, just, just, you know, being the main plan. And, uh, and one of the workers, she come by and uh, a couple times, because we had to have her open this deal. Anyway, and a couple times, and, and uh, she made the comment something like this. And, Man, it's just good to see folks enjoying life again. Oh, hallelujah. Right. You know what I'm telling you? I'm enjoying living for God. Yes. That's what I'm enjoying yes. living for God. I'm serving yes. the Lord with gladness. Even in the midnight hour, we can serve the Lord with gladness. Even when everything's going wrong, you can serve the Lord with gladness. Hope yes. of the righteous shall be gladness, the Bible said. The Bible said in Isaiah 35, they shall obtain gladness. Psalm 4 and 7, thou hast put gladness in my heart. Psalms 30 and 11, thou hast girded me with gladness. Oh, serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah. Peter said that you may be glad, I like this, with exceeding joy. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Matthew 5 and 6, rejoice in me, exceeding glad. Not just a little glad, but exceeding glad. Hallelujah. Exceeding glad. You know what? I, uh, we, had, uh, we had some crepes this morning for breakfast. I don't know, I don't know what you like on your crepes, but my daughter gets them all made up, and then she takes the, the whipped cream, the stuff, you know, that you out of the can, you know, and you're supposed to put a little dollop on there for looks. Well, if a little bit's good, a lot's better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, so I thought it was my dollop, wasn't just a little dollop. It was a, mm, it was a dollop. Oh uh, yeah! Oh, you know, uh, man made you happy. Hallelujah! There's there a little bit of gladness, but a whole bunch is exceeding gladness. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Rejoice in me, exceeding glad. I said, rejoice in me, exceeding glad. Some folks are kind of glad. Some folks are a little bit glad. Some folks are a little bit better glad. And some folks are exceeding glad. We need to serve the Lord and be exceeding glad. Serve Him with gladness. Serve Him with gladness. I gotta get on with this. Serve the Lord with gladness. Hold on a second. That was my problem. Hallelujah. I haven't had any water. I gotta wet it down. I'm not sure if that one was open or not. <laughs> Just in case someone put down that. The Bible tells us this. The Bible said, Who shall be glad? The Bible said this. Let the earth be glad. Let us be glad, Revelation 19. Psalm 68, let the righteous be glad. Psalm 67, let the nations be glad. Psalm 48, let the daughters of Judah be glad. I 
says there, Psalm 55, Israel shall be glad. Psalm 40, let all those that seek the Lord be glad. I've come to tell you tonight, let's serve the Lord. I said, let's serve the Lord with gladness. That's right. Listen, church, this is not a chore. It's not a drudgery. It's not a poor me. Whoa. No, no. I was glad when they said it. Serve the Lord with gladness. You know why? Because we don't have to die and go to hell. We've been born with the precious blood of the Lamb. We're on our way to heaven. And our names are written down in the Lamb Book of Life. Serve the Lord with gladness. I remember when I was when I was in college, I was on the debate team at California State University Sacramento. We would traveled out of the universities and we debated various topics and, and uh, you would have at the time I believe there was eight preliminary rounds and after your eight preliminary rounds then if you did good in those and you won a certain amount of those then you would what they call break into the you know depending on how big the tournament was quarterfinals or maybe octafinals if there was a big tournament and then you would break into those octafinal rounds and so you didn't know you just you did all your rounds and then when you got done you just waited and you waited and he waited, and finally they came out of the room, and they they had the uh, the uh, the tournament schedule of all those that broke into the quarterfinal rounds or the octafinal rounds or semi whatever the whatever the rounds were. They they came out and they posted them, and everybody was just standing around, and, and they were just looking for their team name on that wall. Man, oh man! Some folks walked away sad because they weren't on there. Oh, I remember who, I remember standing. I remember the first time. I mean, it was my first tournament, and I was just happy to be there. I didn't know nothing about nothing. I was just doing all I knew to do. I was happy about it and, and did my best I could. And, and then they got to posting who made it in the quarterfinals rounds. I thought, there ain't no way. This is my very first tournament. There ain't no way. And I look up there, someone said, hey, your name's on there. I said, what? They said, yeah, you guys broke. I'm like, woohoo! I was happy why my name was there. I was happy that my name was there. I said, I was happy that my name was on that row. You know what? We can be glad. I said, we can be exceeding. I mean, Serve the Lord. Yes, my right. name is written down in the Lamb Book of Life. I said, my name is written down in the Lamb Book of Life. That's reason. I said, that's reason to be glad. The next time everything seems like it's falling apart in your life, sit up on the side of your bed, lift your hands toward glory, and say, Thank you that my name is written down in the Lamb Book of Life. The next time you get discouraged because you're watching too much news, <laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> Shut it off, lift your hands towards heaven, and say, God, I'll take you. That my name is written down. That's the right. Of the Lord. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. Oh, serve the Lord with gladness because my name is written down. Lamb of God. I serve the Lord with gladness because my sins are washed away. All those sins. Oh, the old song says, you ask me where they are. I say they're underneath the blood of the cross of Calvary. As far removed as darkness is from God. In the sea of God's forgetfulness. That's good enough for me. Praise God. My sins are gone. Yes, right. Oh, the blood has been applied. They're gone. The guilt and shame is washed away. I'm telling you, that's a reason to be glad. Yes. Reason to be glad. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. There's a reason to be glad. We've been Set free. Oh, yes. I said we've been set yes. free. Yes. We were bound by chains and sin, but now we've been set free. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You and I need to rejoice because we're set free. Oh, I got I to gotta try to quit. How many, can I remind you of this? There's another reason you and I can serve the Lord with gladness. And let me tell you, it's this. He's a good God. Yes. Yes. I said, we can serve the Lord with gladness because he's a good God. I come to remind you, he, he's a good God. I know the media would try to beg to differ with you, and hell would try to tell you that he's mean. But I, I gotta quit. You know, in the Word of God, the Bible tells us, you know, no one's, no one's making me serve God. I'm gladly serving him yes. with gladness. Yes. In the word of God, we find that gladness is associated a lot of times intertwined when it speaks about marriage. Yeah. Now, the Bible said, for example, in Jeremiah 25 and 10, or excuse me, yeah, 25 and 10, he said, I will take from the I will take from them. This is a, this was a curse. I'm going to take from them the voice of mirth, 
and of rejoicing, or excuse me, the voice of gladness, and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, because they were, it was a synonymous thing that it was just a joyous time for the bride and groom when they got married. Uh, I, I, Isaiah tells us this in Isaiah uh, chapter 62, verse 5, as the bridegroom rejoiced over the bride, so shall God rejoice over thee. And so what we find in the word of God, that there was a, there was a connection there, the bride and the bridegroom, they rejoice. And I began to think about that, serving the Lord with gladness. And I began to think about that day, that this, this November will be 30 years ago. November. 1990. And uh, I was standing at an altar. Some men and young ladies had walked in and wearing suits and nice clothes and now I'm standing there, me and my grandpa. Standing there, he was my papa, he was my friend. We're standing there, and all of a sudden, that music stopped, all the ladies and gentlemen were in. All of a sudden, that organ, that organist, she hit that march. When that organ began that, and then that crowd stood up, Everybody stood up and everybody turned around. And everybody stood up and turned around. That door opened up and my bride yes, sir. began to walk down that aisle. I can tell you this, I wasn't sitting there with a frown. No, sir. No, no. Mm, I was happy. I smiled on my face like wave on a slot bucket. I mean, I was smiling. She was about two, three steps in. I was crying. My grandpa was crying. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking about serving the Lord with gladness. Yes, sir. And we met that day at that altar, and I took her by the hand. You know, we do those old-fashioned King James sounding vows. Yeah. I there to plight thee my troth. Woo! I'm not sure what my troth is, but it's been plighted to her, you know. <laughs> but you know, at that altar, I, I committed my life to her. I said, until death do us part, as long as we both shall live. Right, man. I said, in richer, in poor, sickness and in health, for better, for worse. I said, you stuck with me, sister man. Right. But you know what? That day that I, I committed my life to her and I, I told her that through thick and thin we were going to be together and I, there was a commitment made. You know what? I didn't do it, Brother George, with a frown on my face. All right. Oh, all right. Whatever. You insist, yeah, yeah, say poor, whatever, rich, happy, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I can't believe she wants me to say all this stuff. Oh, oh, oh. No. No. I was glad. Right? I was glad. I said, I do. Woo! I do. Hallelujah. Well, 35 years ago, I knelt at an old fashioned altar, gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. Committed my everything to it. When I got up from that altar, Brother Jordan, I wasn't sad. There was no frown on my face. I was glad I gave him my everything. I was glad. I was glad. I'm serving the Lord with gladness. I was glad. That day I stood at that altar. I held her by the hand. I said, forsaking all others, I keep myself only unto you. I can tell you this. I didn't say it with a frown. If I'd have said that with a frown, she's Italian. She'd had a talk with me on the top of my head. Amen. <laughs> I seem to kill me right there. Amen. Uh, you know, I mean, it just didn't No, no, no. I sat down with a smile. I gladly forsake everything. I gladly give up everyone. I gladly forsake all others. Why? Because I found the pearl. I found the pearl. Tonight, can I tell you, serve the Lord with gladness. I gladly give up this world. I gladly give up that things around me. Why? I found the pearl. I found the pearl. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Stand with me, please, tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There have been some. We've gone through some things. There have been some hard times. There have been times when, you know, we've gone through Y2K and H1N1 and COVID-19. I went through COVID-16, 17, 18, too. But, you know, we're going to do all that. You know, the ups, there's troubles and struggles and trials, and we've been through blowouts on the bus and different things. But I've never been sorry. Amen. Can I tell you, I've never been sorry that I gave my heart and life to Jesus. 
I've never been sorry that I trusted that holy name. Hallelujah. I've never been sorry, our church tonight, that served the Lord with gladness. Father, we love you. Thank you for the number of students that come across. Thank you for the blood of your heart and heart and souls. God, so have that will that way. Give you the praise and glory and the power and the honor in Jesus' wonderful name. God, stir us tonight. God, with the joy of serving you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God, have your way tonight. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight. Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Quickly tonight, as they begin to play and sing, here's about eyes closed between you and the Master. Maybe here you don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. He said, Preacher, I don't know him. I've been religious, but I've never really been born again. I didn't give my heart life to Christ. I want to know that joy you're talking about tonight. I want to know what it really means to serve God and walk with Him. Hallelujah. That's you. You slip your hand in quick with me. One. Just I'm back down to you, the Master. Hallelujah. We don't want to miss anybody tonight. Hallelujah. 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 You're here tonight. I said, Preacher, I've been serving God, but you know what? I've been serving Him with a little bit of sadness. Or maybe a little bit of madness, or maybe even a little bit of badness. If preacher God dealt with me, I've not been serving God like all, but I want to serve Him with gladness. Lift your hand and come on up back down to you, the Master. See these hands. How many of you raise your hand with me tonight? Say, preacher, I want to serve the Lord with gladness. I want to serve the Lord with gladness. How many of you say, preacher, I want Him to restore to me the joy of His salvation in my heart? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God and the Lamb forevermore. Come on, they're going to play and sing when we open these altars. And in fact, those of you that will, let's come and gather around these altars. Find us a place. To pray. Let's let God touch our life. Let's let God touch our heart. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Oh. 